As a crafter, there are so many tools and supplies to choose from, it can be hard to decide which ones you truly need, especially if you're just starting out your stamping journey. Today we're sharing 10 essential card making tools that will help you as you create beautiful cards and projects. Let's start with our Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. Everyone needs a high quality crisp black ink in their crafty stash. That's why our Simon Exclusive Intense Black Ink Pad is so invaluable. The ink is not only archival, non-fading and acid free, but it is also fast drying and waterproof. So whether you're using alcohol based markers, watercolors, pencils, or even solvent mediums, your stamping will not bleed, stay truly black, and give you crisp finishes. An embossing ink is a true must have for any project. Whether you use it as a watermark ink for subtle stamping, or as a sticky ink for heat embossing, you'll reach for our Simon exclusive embossing ink pad all the time. The ink dries slowly, that's ensuring that you'll have plenty of time to add embossing powder and set it with a heat tool. Because the ink is acid free, you'll also have the peace of mind knowing that it's safe to use on any project, including your scrapbook pages. This pad is also extremely moist, which means your ink pad will stay nice and wet for a very long time to come. Let's move on to our Simon's Teflon Bone Folder. A bone folder is important for so many reasons, and the right kind of bone folder makes all the difference. If you're scoring paper to fold, use the pointed end. When you are ready to crease the paper for a nice crisp edge along the fold, burnish the bone folder across your cardstock either with the side or the flat end. But if you don't have the right type of bone folder, these results will not be as good. Our exclusive bone folder is made from Teflon, which means that adhesives, inks, and paints will not stick to it, it will not get worn down, discolored, or stained with age, and instead your bone folder will get smoother and shinier over time and be in your crafty tool stash for years to come. Every card needs a good base to start from, and what better base to build your card on than our exclusive A2 top folding cards. These bright white four and a quarter by five and a half inch note cards come in packs of 10 and are made from our high quality 120 pound white card stock. Already pre-scored for you, all you need to do is take your Teflon bone folder and give them a good crease. Then you can stamp, adhere die cuts, ink blend, and more on these handy bases. Every stamper cannot be without some high quality stamping blocks. Made right here in the USA, these ultra clear acrylic blocks have etched grid lines in them for easy alignment of your clear stamps. We've also included a fun wavy edge on each block so that they sit comfortably in your hand as you stamp. There are four different sizes for you to choose from so that you'll be sure to have a block that fits any size stamp you own. There's a four by four inch square, a three by four inch rectangle, and two circle blocks in two and a half and three and a half inch sizes. Let's talk about glue. For a go-to adhesive, you want something that holds strong, dries quickly, and works on a variety of surfaces. Our Simon exclusive Craft Tacky Glue is a liquid adhesive that does all these things, making it a must have for adhering anything from die cuts to full card panels, fabric, embellishments, and even sequins. The tip is quite fine, which means you can even use this adhesive for intricate die cuts too. How about post-it tape? Did you know post-it tape has more uses than just making notes and reminders? This two inch roll of post-it tape is the most versatile of all the post-it tapes that we carry at Simon's Stamp because it can be used for many things, including creating masks for stamped images or as your own pattern. It's also great as a low tack tape for holding down dies, ensuring that they don't shift as you run them through your die cut machine. The roll is a full 36 yards, which means this will last you for a very long time. Earlier we talked about embossing ink and a must have companion to embossing ink and powders is a powder tool. Paper has a tendency to harbor either moisture from your environment or oils from your hands. To eliminate the issue, a powder tool is a true must have. To use the tool, simply tap it onto your paper to release some of the powder and then brush it across the area you intend to stamp. 
This effectively neutralizes any moisture or oil on the paper surface, ensuring your embossing powder sticks only to the embossing ink areas. This type of tool comes in either a plastic brush or a fabric pouch. Either tool works well and your choice depends on your personal preference. Stamp care is most important when it comes to making sure that your stamps last for years to come and gives you the best results when stamping. For everyday cleaning, a stamp chamois or absorber is the right choice. They are made from reusable, lint-free material that requires only water to give your stamps a thorough scrubbing. When you're done crafting for the day, let your stamp chamois dry in the open air to keep it from having an odor. Most inks will eventually start to stain your chamois, but it will still work perfectly even when a rainbow of other colors begin to build up on its surface. If you want to give your chamois a good bath, you could always rinse it out with some soapy water for a refreshing clean smell, but note that it's really not necessary to do so and it's just based on your personal preference. And of course, no matter what project you're working on, it always helps to have a surface to protect your table with. Our Simon exclusive grid matte paper is a large surface that measures 11 by 17 inches, giving you tons of space to get inky on. There are 50 sheets in a pad, which will last a long time because each sheet can be used as long as you'd like. This grid paper is the perfect background for stamping and assembling your projects since the grid lines will help you make sure everything is aligned perfectly. The bright white color is also handy for testing out ink or marker colors before putting them directly on your project. And because it's a pad of paper, you can easily take it with you on the go. I hope that these 10 essential tools that we've shared today help you discover some new tools that you may need to help you with your crafting projects. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more weekly inspiration and other quick tip videos. Thanks for tuning in. We will be back again very soon with more to share. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.